Yeah, what's up? This is Gemma, representing Mind on Money. You're now watching Claw Rob TV. My name, Gemma, from Detroit. Detroit, Michigan, east side. Gemma, J-E-M-A, right? What I do, I get down. I've been doing music for a long time. Um, been passionate about it, you know, something that I, I do in my sleep, so. I just really feel like, um, you know, at this point in my life, it's time to turn up the volume a little bit, let the world hear who I am. Definitely feel like, you know, it's, it's time, you know, it's my season right now, so. Just, just letting these crops come to full bloom. Purpose in, in this music business is actually, you know, just, just to add value to not only my life, but the, the lives of other people that are just like me that, you know, I feel are influenced and aspiring to become something greater. You know, music is, is something that I've always felt was an outlet for myself. It was a way for me to express myself. You know, some people had basketball or whatever it might be. Um, some people just had different forms of art. But um, I really feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's like a one, one hand wash the other effect. I and mean, it's one of those situations where, you know, you, you, can, you can open the door for somebody else and that's the door that'll keep on opening. So it's like a, it's, it's a revolving door type of business. Goals this year, honestly, you know, I've sat back and um, just observed a lot of different, a lot of different people in the game. You know, that, that's a good question too, because a lot of people don't have goals. You know, a lot of guys are just putting out mixtape after mixtape after mixtape, hoping to get heard. I don't plan on being one of those guys. That's, that's definitely one of my goals. To not be one of those guys is, is one goal. But, um, you know, I got, I got a goal of, you know, being that, you know, I'm independent right now. Just, just putting out the material. For every, every album I put out, sell 2,500. Sell 2,500. You know, put out six CDs in a, in, in a year's time. You know, never really just to, to oversaturate, you know, my, my brand or even, even the brand that I represent. You know what I'm saying? So it's just one of those things where I want to be consistent at putting out quality material. Got to be consistent at putting out quality material because at today's, you know, pace, everything is so watered down. They don't really give you a chance to really vibe and, and feel who that artist is. You know, it's just all about that bounce. Everybody's being funneled into that machine. You know, I refuse to be funneled into that machine and allow people to, to, to actually dictate my pace or, or tell me what type of music I should be creating. Music should be from the heart. Lifelong goal has always been, you know, to be successful in music. I've done a lot of other things from direct marketing to shit, <laughs> hustling or whatever it might be. You know, just, just trying to find my way. But um, music has been a lifelong goal of mine. I really feel like, you know, this is something that I, I was actually put here, put here to do. I feel like this is a, a definite purpose. You know, my, my, my point in time, you know, at, well, at this point in time, you know, my, the main thing I'm looking to do is um, just, just be, be the best at getting better. You know, I know I've been doing this thing for a long time, but, you know, it's all about change. It's all about evolution. You know, I, I've seen a lot of guys in this business never really, never really evolve. So they, they, they kind of faded out. So it's just about being consistent, having longevity, being the best me. That's, that's, that's the main thing I got in my mind. Man, uh, hardship. So well, let's talk about you know, you know, just 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 growing up. You know, I think within um, doing music and just being a part of the culture, you you got you got to grow. You got to allow yourself time to develop. If you're trying to force everything into one year's time, you can't force a lifetime into one year's time. It just ain't gonna happen. You might see somebody else that just got on. This dude might be. 34, 35 years old. He might have been getting down since he was 17, 18. In your eyes, it might look like, damn, he whack, he whatever, he just got on. You just gotta pay your dues. Keep paying your dues up to the point where they cut you a check for it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, as far as the hardships, man, I, I had a, a crew of guys, you know, I was getting down with, I was, I was going hard with, everybody locked up now. You know, they facing some real numbers. So what I gotta do is open the doors for, for, for them, as well as, you know, the kids they got. You know, I gotta uphold all our dreams. So everything that we're doing right now is, you know, I'm putting putting the city on my back and putting the team on my back. Got the team on my arm. You know, just we're gonna make it happen at all costs. Blood, sweat, and tears. This um, this mind on money logo right here. This actually, you know, started started from you know, close close person in my life uh, by the name of D. He um, he had a vision years ago. You know, everything starts from being broke. Everything starts at a time at a point in time in your life when you feel like you need more. You got to do more. But he was telling me a story. Um, you know, at one point in time in his life, he was, you know, going out getting his money however he did it. And um, he developed a certain amount of discipline, you know, put his mind on money, put his mind on, on everything that, that, that really mattered to him, you know. Because a, a lot of times, you know, a lot of guys in life, they don't understand that it's a lot, of, a lot of obstacles we put in front of our way that we don't even know we put there. We create our own biggest obstacles, you know, we create our own biggest mistakes a lot of times, you know. so. You know, when, you, when you're dealing with girls, you're dealing with money, you're dealing with going out, you're going with hanging out, different things like that, you know, you got to really be able to sacrifice those things. So me seeing a person, you know, go, go from zero to hero in, in a certain amount of time, you know, you know, this guy was a person that everybody looked up to, everybody had a lot of belief in, 
he believed in himself, you know, just, just enough to, to be the rock for everybody. And that, that was something that, you know, was shared from him, you know, to his brothers along, you know, down the line to myself. You know, this is just, it was a culture that was created by a guy that sat back and said, hey, you know what? I ain't about to be buying shoes every week. I ain't about to be buying shirts every week. I ain't about to be popping bottles anymore. You know what I mean? I'm gonna wear these one pair of tens for a year straight and stack all my money. So it was just all about the grind. Um, <clears throat> it's a great question. Um, <clears throat> as far as the people that look up to me, and you know, I, I might look up to them as well. You know, we, we look back and forth. You know, um, number one person I, I, I would like to say, uh, sport, man. You know, I went to go visit him not too long ago. I want to say about, about three weeks ago. We was just kicking it, you know, just talking about everything we went through just to get to this point we at right now. You know, uh, we, we inspire each other back and forth. So this is why, you know, this, this was a person out of all people I've done music with, I, I can literally just sit back and say, damn, we admire each other. We admire each other's game. We got, we got, you know, love and respect for each other's style and how we get down. But um, as far as people I admire and I look up to, man, I look up to anybody that's, that's helped me along the way. It ain't necessarily gotta be music. It's gotta, you know, somebody that, that was there for me when I ain't had shit. You know what I mean? Just, just the people that, that are there that make you smile when you ain't got nothing. You know, my kids, my son, you know what I mean? My girl, everything like that is just, the people that, that, that look at me like I'm Superman when I ain't got a dime in my pocket, those are the people that matter to me. The people that, that's right there with me, the people that's in the grind with me, those people that want me to succeed in order for them to succeed. Well, upcoming material, Mo Better Blues. We, we actually dropped the, dropped the CD, you know, me and my man Sport, we dropped the CD uh, a while ago. It's called Blues Brothers, and that was the name of the group as well, self-entitled, you know, the, the name came from us just sitting down in the, in the studio one day, just vibing out. And we just wanted to, you know, sit back and figure out what was something that, that represented us. You know, that movie was something that was like playing in my head. I kind of blurted it out to him. He heard it. He's like, yeah, I like that, you know, because the, the Blues Brothers represented some guys that were musicians on a mission from God. They ain't fuck with the police. They was rebels. You know what I'm saying? The whole thing was just to get the music done, put the band back together, and, and, and be heard at all costs. And I really feel like, you know, that's something that represents, you know, who we are and who I am to this day. So, you know, just giving the people in, in addition to, um, who I am as the Blues Brothers. Sport put out a Life in the Fast Lane CD, which, which did pretty well. You know, people received it pretty well. They were receptive to it. You know, at this point in time, I just gotta, I gotta keep holding the torch, baby. We're in the Olympics right now. You know, it's 2012, they, they just had the Olympics. You know, uh, I can't even think of this guy's name. Uh, Usain, whatever, whatever. He, he won some He won some medals. It's time for me to win some medals. You know, Michael Phelps won some medals. I gotta win some medals for the team, too. So it's just all about that pride right now. But as far as uh, projects, man, I, I got a few on the tuck. You know, I've been recording songs and songs and songs for years and years and years and years. I know I've recorded shit. <laughs> Well over over two three thousand songs, you know, to put all them songs out right now just ain't the time for it. You got to put out the best material, put your best foot behind it, and you know just just let the world receive it.